Folding the American flag requires practice and attention to detail. This video is meant to serve as an instructional reference for the two-soldier flag detail, as well as provide insight on the Army regulations pertaining to the flag folding ceremony. Diligent practice folding the flag with a battle buddy is necessary. Don't let the first time folding the flag be during the ceremony. The service member's position relative to the flag will determine their role in the flag folding ceremony. The iconic triangle fold starts at the stripes only portion of the flag located at the foot of the casket and makes its way toward the head. Therefore, the holder is at the head and the folder is at the foot. Members of the detail can serve in either of these two positions with the understanding that the holder will also be the one to present the flag to the next of kin. The flag should always be presented by a member of the respective branch of the deceased. Keep this in mind if the detail consists of multiple branches. After the playing of taps, soldiers will go to order arms and step closer to the head and foot of the casket to secure the flag. Lift the flag up to waist level and slowly step three paces away from the family, as it is possible based on terrain conditions. Fold the lower stripe section of the flag over the blue field. As a tip, leave a little bit of room at the top of the fold to help in dressing the flag later. Grasp the fold in the left hand and bring the right hand down to the bottom crease, flattening out the flag at waist level once there. From here, repeat the same fold again, bringing the second fold in line with the first. Return the flag to waist level in the same manner. Use of visual cues, such as a wrist flick from the holder, will aid in coordinating these movements. From here, start a triangular fold by bringing the striped corner of the folded edge to the open edge. Keep fingers on top of the flag as folds are completed, keeping folds in place as hand positions are readjusted. The holder should continue to grasp and pull the flag tightly throughout this process, not moving from their position. This next step happens quickly. Take the right hand from the lower right corner and catch onto the base of the fold just formed. Flick the wrist to flip the fold over and forward. Take a left step forward as this occurs. This process will repeat several times using the same basic steps. Regrip the corners, slide the appropriate hand to the corner of the next fold and fold. Make every fold count. Be precise with alignment and keep the flag tight to ensure success, otherwise you risk redoing work. The next important part comes with the fourth forward fold, which will ideally bring the top corner touching the blue field of stars. Be mindful of the landing zone, which is the rough area at the top of the stripes and bottom of the blue that the corner should land in. Land short of this zone and there will be too much flag left to fold. Land too far past, there will be red and white showing when the folds are completed. Depending on how the corner lands, a small adjustment may be made to ensure better alignment by the end if needed. There should be six folds remaining after the landing zone. During these six folds, using an overextended cheat fold can help cover more stripe material when folding is complete. Next, tuck the remaining margin into the pocket formed by the folds at the blue field edge of the flag. The holder performs this tuck. Start by tucking the right corner underneath the fabric. Then, regripping the fabric with the right hand and opening the folded pocket with the left, tuck the remaining material into the pocket. Meticulously inspect the flag, ensuring that folds are tight and that only blue material is showing. To dress the corners, the folder will retake the flag, hold it close to their chest, and dress each corner.
With the flag ready for presentation, the folder will hold it at waist level and be ready to hand it to the holder. The holder should support the flag from the bottom with the right hand in a reverse pistol grip U-shape while holding the flag on top with the left hand. The folder will then salute the flag for three seconds. After going to order arms, the folder will execute a facing movement to march out of sight. The holder will reposition the flag by rotating the right wrist. Approach the next of kin to present the flag and offer condolences in accordance with the verbiage outlined in the Department of Defense Instruction 1300.15, giving one final salute afterwards before departing. To unfold the flag, which would be executed during a cremation service, secure the flag and locate where the margin is tucked into the flag. The holder will secure the margin and pull it tight at waist level. The folder will then unfold the triangle folds one at a time by sweeping underneath the folds. If unfolding straight back, take a left step backward. Once the triangle folds are unfolded and the flag is held straight at waist level, readjust grip to the outside corners within the two remaining folds. In one coordinated motion, spread the flag out completely. From here, the flag will be refolded as shown previously. This completes instruction on folding and unfolding the flag by a two-soldier detail during military honors.